coming out here after 30 years, yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm gonna have something because I'm rich in personality, you know, and uh, I'm rich in love, my family love me, and that really, that's, that's really the, all that counts. Shout out to everybody out there on Team Banky Pound, man. I appreciate the love. Boom, 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 boom. Appreciate the support. Boom, duck them hooks. Stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Shout out to everybody been supporting me, man. Everybody been rocking with me. Everybody who's uh, been supporting these videos, I definitely appreciate it. Let's spread the word. Let's tell a friend to tell a friend. Let's get these numbers up, man. We on the road to 100K. I want to put that plaque back here on the wall. We're going to be solidified and we're going to get this message out here in 2023 to the entire universe. That's our goal. That's our motto. Let's go. Feed the positive, starve the negative. Um, Man, today this, this video was sparked by me reading a comment last night. Um, Somebody in the video, you know who you are. You said... Um, that your people was locked up and told you to ask me about Cooper Lee. <laughs> and man, you brought back a memory, man. You sparked a memory in my brain, man, that I had to come on here and tell y'all about it. TBP, you know we family. Talk to me. I talk back. Um, Cooper Lee, man. Cooper Lee is 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 a story in itself, man. Um, I can remember when I first met Cooper Lee, man, it was Early in my bit, man, in the 80s, when I first went in, I went in in 87. I think I met Cooper Lee, like, in um, 88 or 89, you know, uh, on Augusta. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, when I got to the compound, man, Cooper Lee was one of them names, his, his name was ringing. When I say your name ringing, like when you get on the compound, you you know, you heard who's who and, you know, blah, blah, blah. You heard this dude's name or this dude did this or this dude did that. Cooper Lee's name was out there, man, because Cooper Lee was a, a, a <laughs> Cooper Lee was a wild man, man. Cooper Lee was crazy to the Z. And you understand me? I mean, he stayed in stuff. He stayed in controversy. He um He was aggressive. He always gambling. He always doing something to try to get some money. He down on people. He will most definitely push that Bethlehem uh, without question. Um, and he won't scare. He won't scare it at all. I got to know Cooper Lee through his homeboy, which became a good friend of mine's man, um, Angelo. And I ain't talking about crazy Angelo. I'm talking about another Angelo. This Angelo was Angelo Rooks. Shout out to him, R.I.P. Angelo Rooks. Um, <clears throat> he became one of my best friends, you know, during the course of me doing this time, man. He was a good dude. Angelo was aggressive. Angelo was a warrior. Angelo was uh, super thorough, man. Angelo was one of them go-hard brothers, man. He, uh, But he ended up getting sick, you know, messing with the drugs and the needles and whatnot. And um, he ended up getting sick, man, and he passed away. Unfortunately, I was around him when he passed away, man, years later on Greensville. I spoke about that in the Greensville video, man, and it, it hurt me to my heart just to see him whittle down from what he used to be. Because Angelo, man, back in them days, Angelo used to jog the yard all day, work out, you know, Cause he was into a lot of stuff and Angelo might have to put hands on you at any time or put that Bethlehem in you at any time because if you live in a certain type of lifestyle in prison, being in shape is paramount. You got to be in shape because, you know, that drama may come to you at any moment. And if that drama come to you, you're going to have to be able to deal with that drama and it may be physical or, 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 or whatever the case may be. So you're going to have to put in some work. So Angelo stayed in shape because he stayed in a whole lot of drama. Cooper Lee was his homeboy, so that was his partner. So that's how I ended up meeting Cooper Lee. At that time, me and Cooper Lee ain't really clicked because, like I say, Cooper Lee was Cooper Lee was missing the screw, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cooper Lee was missing the screw, and he was one of them dudes that he talked fast and he and he be stuttering and stuff, uh, and, and he like it's like he was always mad. You know what I'm saying? Oh man. 
man, to this, I don't even think I ever seen Cooper Lee smile, man. <laughs> I don't think I ever seen Cooper Lee smile. He always talk like, but, 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 I mean, what, 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 I mean, what you mean? What you, what, what, what you saying though? Oh, I, 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 I don't understand what you're saying. Yeah, 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 you got to make that clear to me. I don't, I don't understand what you say. He one of them type of dudes, you know what I'm saying? So, man, yeah, but he 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 was drama drama filled, man. Cooper Lee, I mean, anything that got something to do with the, the penitentiary, Cooper Lee had something to do with it. You know what I'm saying? If it's gambling, Cooper Lee got his hands in that. If it's hustling, he got his hands in that. If it's stealing, conning, scheming, he got his hands in that. If it's the boys, he got his hands in it. Cooper Lee is, he just, with everything penitentiary, is Cooper Lee. You know what I'm saying? And he just stayed in it. You know what I'm saying? And like I say, if you had a beef with him or if you had a problem with him, he coming at you. You know what I'm saying? He ain't, he ain't, he ain't doing no plan. He going to move just as fast as he talk. I, I, you, nah, nah. He, he going to do all that. You know what I'm saying? If you owe him some money, I would advise you to pay him. You know what I'm saying? He going to run parlays. He going to uh, sell stuff. If he get in that kitchen, he going to be manipulating that kitchen, sending food out there, you know, 100 miles per hour. And when he get back to the building, all that food he sent up out there, he want his money off the top. Where, where that at? I try, I try to send that stuff out here. Where, where, get, get, get. No, I mean, I ain't get a, you sent five sandwiches. I ain't get number, man, you better give me, give, 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 give me the money for five, man. I said, I sent five out here. You better give me the money, man. You know what I'm saying? And them dudes turn around and get the, all right, man, Cooper Lee, right, don't, don't, don't worry about it. Man, he turn around, he go to that cell, man. Cooper Lee come back up out there, man. He, he, he slinging. Yeah. And he ain't care nothing about going to jail. <laughs> he ain't care nothing about segregation. He been locked up. To, he was locked up before I got there. He was locked up years before I got there. So he done did enough time. And I heard this was like his second bit. When I run into him, it's like his second bit in the 80s. So, you know, he's a veteran in doing time. He know he done been through the wall. He done been through Mecklen. He done been through all of that stuff. So he ain't new to this. He true to this. And, um... Yeah, he won't he won't he want to be played with, man. Um, and in my opinion, you know, he wanted to be trusted. I ain't trust him. You know what I'm saying? Even though he was cool with Low, and I'm cool with Low, him and Low grew up together. They got a different type of friendship than me and Low got. I I I, I trust Low, me and Low cool. And you know, Low have showed his loyalty to me. You know what I'm saying? If y'all go back to the video when I told y'all about when the first time that I ever had to really get into it with a CO and I had to mop, 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 and lay him down. It was because of me going over there to the laundry room to holler at Low, because Low worked in laundry and the CO ain't want to let me leave. You know what I'm saying? But Low, Low, Low was a solid dude, man. I, I had I had big love for Low, man. He was a good dude. And um, when I got into the thing with Big Raymond, um, it was Low who came to me and said, "Man, give me the knife, man. They they, they coming to get you, man. They coming to get you, better get." And I ain't want to listen to him because I was I was paranoid. I ain't gonna get rid of the knife. You know what I'm saying? But um. That was low, but that was his dude. He grew up with him. They come in the penitentiary, ran the same time. They from the same neighborhood, you know, so they understood each other. But I ain't trust Cooper Lee because Cooper Lee, like I say, Cooper Lee was a little, he, he was a little too off. I couldn't get no good read on him. So we was always to the point where we spoke and we're like, yeah, what's up, what's up? If he walk up on me and low or something, he speak. But... Man, I ain't even never seen Cooper Lee smile, man. You can't trust nobody that don't smile, man. Cooper Lee don't smile at all, man. Cooper Lee always like this. I'm talking about, I, 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, man, I don't trust nobody like that. <laughs> I don't trust nobody. And before I had even got to the camp, it was a new prison. The prison, when I got to Augusta, it hadn't been open about, I don't know, maybe five, six, seven years at the most. It hadn't been open a decade yet. And, um... Cooper Lee's name was one of the biggest dudes on there, you know what I'm saying? Like, far as, like, any type of drama that didn't happen, violence that didn't happen, Cooper Lee's name came up, you know what I'm saying? His, his name came up. So that's the type of dude he was. He stayed in stuff. So as time went on and I'm on the compound, man, you know, and I'm, I'm around low, me and low ended up in the same block together. Cooper Lee was always there in the other building, but he always came to holler at low. They always had some type of money scheme going on, some type of hustle going on and then both of them get high so when dudes getting high in the penitentiary 
they may coordinate and they may, if they cool with each other, they may pool their money for when the drugs in, you know, to be able to cop, to be able to get on and make sure that they, you know, get theirs before it's all gone. You know, you may have a certain amount, he may have a certain amount, y'all put y'all money together, y'all get more, make a deal or whatever, get enough, y'all, you know, get your fix on or whatever, whatever. I ain't never knocked people for getting high because that's what they want to do. I don't get high. I ain't never got high. Con contrary to all y'all saying, man, make it be high, make it look like it. No, I don't, man. I don't get high. This is the way I look. Forgive me. You know what I'm saying? But I don't get high. You know, and I don't, but I don't knock nobody who do that. That's their thing. I, I, I don't never feel like it's my place to tell a grown person what to do with their life. Whatever they do is what they do. But I'm to the point in my life where I can't be influenced to do something just because everybody else doing it. And you could be around me and you could be doing what you doing. If that ain't me, that just ain't me. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to fault you for what you're doing and I'm not going to try to preach to you and tell you what to do. You done made your own choices in life. That's what you want to do. So be it. And I've always been like that. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, they got high. But, you know what I'm saying? And, and that was their thing. So, they gangsters though. Lower gangster, Cuba Lee gangster. Now, man, you, if they ain't got the money to get it, oh, they will go take it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They will go take it because they under the the, 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 the the impression that, okay, if I got the money, I'm going to buy this stuff. If it come in, if somebody get the sack, I'm going to pay for it. But they also under the impression like these dudes who be getting the sack know this. So now if I come to you and you just got the sack at a time that I ain't got no money, go ahead and hit me all, man. And when I get right, I'm going to take care of you. And if them dudes say no, like, no, man, I can't do that as cash and carry. I mean, you know, you got the cash, you can carry these drugs away with you. If you don't, man, you can't get it. I ain't no, you owe me. Or that. No, it's cash and carry. If a dude hit low or or, 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 <laughs> or Cooper Lee with that cash and carry, man, shh, he may get robbed, beat up that night. Cooper Lee and, and low. They'll move on the dude and go ahead and take the drugs, go try to stash the drugs and, and, and hold the drugs or take it with them when they go to the hole and be locked up in the hole getting high. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Locked up in the hole getting high or had it because they know they may get strips or whatever and get somebody to sneak it back there to them and get high. But they'll take the charge, take the beef, start a war with dudes, everything. They don't care. They come. I mean, these these were real life gangsters, man. These were gangsters, and they ain't had no picks. And what I mean by picks is, when you say you a gangster, a gangster is it don't matter who got the drugs. It don't matter who is your opposition. It don't matter who you got the beef with. You gonna treat them the same as anybody else. You know, a gangster ain't gonna say, "Oh well, I, I um." I robbed the um, mom and pop store, but I ain't gonna rob no bank. Nah, gangster gonna get the money wherever the money is at. He go in and get it. And that's how Cooper Lee and Low was when I was in Augusta. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you what I what I know from what I seen and what I experienced with myself. Cooper Lee and Low was not to be played with. And if you had them drugs and if you want what they call in penitentiary, trying to play fair. Play fair now. I ain't got the money, but I'm going I'm to give you my word. My word is my bond. I'm going to pay. And them dudes won't try to get them them drugs, man. Them dudes want them drugs, man. Them dudes won't come take them drugs, though. I've known Low and Cooper Lee to go to jail for robbing known dudes in there getting their sack. Getting their sack. And these dudes that get the sack, like I told you, especially like in the 80s and stuff like that, the early 90s, man, dude ain't going to get that sack. And try to pump it out if he ain't willing to kill for it. If he ain't willing to fight for it. Or he got somebody else that he going to put it in their hands and let them sell it. And the person who hand he put it in is going to fight for it and kill for it. I.e. when I was dealing with Hector. Hector ain't want to sell it. He gave it to me. So, Cooper Lee and Lowe know this. And they still coming to get them drugs, man. <laughs> They coming to get them drugs, man, and whatever, they, they going to have them Bethlehems with them, and they ain't going to be uh, trying to scratch you neither. They going to be trying to, you know, go ahead and do the thing to you. So, you know, that's how bad they was on it. You know what I'm saying? So, this is my introduction to Cooper Lee. You understand? So, 
I'm like, man, yeah, man. I used to tell Lo, though. And Lo, man, I grew up with him, man. I knew man all my life. Woo, woo, woo. Man, I used to make Cooper Lee crazy, dog. You got you to, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta, you know, pull back from him, man. Lo, like, man, all that my dude, man. I understand. I understand that my, that my dude, man, you know. I, I, I know I know what Coop gonna do and I know what he ain't gonna do. I, I, I trust Coop, man. Yeah, well, I don't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't. You know what I'm saying? Because I couldn't, I was young. I was super young at the time. I can't, I don't want to be around nobody this, you know, irrational. You know, Cooper Lee irrational. Cooper Lee could be sitting there talking to a dude and a dude say something he don't like. Cooper Lee say, what, 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 what you saying, man? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't, I don't like the tone of your voice, man. Go, 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 get away from me, man. Get away, get away from me. You know, he he one of them type of dudes. So you don't, you don't know what it, what's going on in that man's head, you know? So I can remember Cooper Lee, man, on, Man, somebody owed him some some money. I think it was over a poker game, and me and Lo all the way in another building, and um, then they 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 put the little alarm off, and everybody lock up, everybody lock up, lock up, woo woo. So everybody trying to find out what's going on, and they used to find why we getting locked? Cause it ain't lock up time, but they locking us up, man. Cause somebody done got hit. All the police going to one area, and that means it's something bad, man. Cooper Lee them put that thing in somebody down there, man, and they done had to take that boy about there on the helicopter, man. He almost killed a dude, and to my understanding, whether it's true or not, the, the debt was, was, was under $50. You know what I'm saying? It was under $50, but the understanding was, you know, what, was what Cooper Lee could not accept, because he was like, man, no, you know, I ain't got no understanding about you not paying my money, man. You not hand it. I don't care. It ain't nothing but such says, man, I told you I'm going to get it to you, but I'm late with it. Woo, woo, Cooper Lee, like, nah, you got to get it right now. I can't get it right now. No, you going to get it right now. Nah, I can't get it right now, man. You trying to make... Yeah, yeah, that's Cooper Lee. You know what I'm saying? That's the old Cooper Lee. And that's how he was current, you know, back then. So that's I know he went to the hole and see, like back then, you know, in the eighties and in the early nineties or whatever, you know, dudes was was making them type of moves and getting them type of charges. And the dude who got hurt and ended up going to the hospital, by the time he got out of the hospital, they would send him to another institution, opposed to sending the dude who put that work in on him somewhere else. They would send that dude somewhere else. So Cooper Lee stayed in the hole for a long time. Then when he come out, he come right back out to the same population that he done put that work in. So that's why dudes already know, you know, what, what you're dealing with when you're dealing with Cooper Lee. This is what you're dealing with. So dudes, you know, they moved around Cooper Lee with caution because they know that the man will, will Kirk out. You see what I'm saying? So that's the Cooper Lee that I knew. Then it won't even a year. It won't even the year that Cooper Lee did that, that he got the beefing and arguing with the police. That the police kept messing with him, kept on, you know, you know, picking at him, saying things to him, whatever, whatever. Cooper Lee kept on popping off at him. He write Cooper Lee a couple of charges or whatever. Man, shh. Cooper Lee came out that joint one day and walked straight up to him on the boulevard and hit him. Boom! Drop him, got on top of him and just sat in his chest and mop, 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 mop. I mean, beat him down. This a police. This a CO. You know what I'm saying? This at Augusta. This is a white man. This is a white man land. You know what I'm saying? Where they they're gonna crucify you, man, if they don't kill you. Cooper Lee beat the man down, man, blooded his face up, man, grabbed him by his jacket, man, and started trying to drag him down the boulevard, man, and tell the people, get the 1033 call, cold blue, cold, whatever they can, run out there. I mean, every, it seemed like every police on the compound, and they just bum rush Cooper Lee like, wow, jump on him, beat him down, man, ball him up, stomp him, kick him, everything, man, and chain him up and take him on to jail, man. Get the police up, man. Shoot them to the hospital. Get them. And that's the last I saw Cooper Lee. That was the last I saw Cooper Lee. And I'm like, man, Cooper. That's what I'm telling Lo. <laughs> Cooper Lee crazy, man. Yeah, this is Cooper Lee. He, he was just out there, man. And um, that was the last I seen him. I hadn't seen him. I didn't run into him. This is in, early in my bit now. I told you, like, late 80s. So I run into Cooper Lee no more. I heard about Cooper Lee, 
on other institutions and his, you know, his his shenanigans and you know, it's the same Cooper Lee that I know of. You know, man, Cooper Lee on bucket, man, Cooper Lee stab dude on bucket, man, Cooper Lee stab dude up there at a uh, 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 this camp, man, Cooper Lee was fighting dude up there at Western. Cooper Lee assaulted police. That's all I used to hear about Cooper Lee. You know, so I ain't know nothing else was going on with him besides that. You know, when I heard that name Cooper Lee, it just popped in my head from what I knew of him, right? So. Um, fast forward years later, decades later, um, I'm on Nottaway, where I eventually made parole from in 2020, thank God. Um, so I'm in the block, I think it's like, um, 2000, I want to say like 16, 17, something like that. Next door, um, I got a couple of partners over there. Pedo, Teeny, shout out to Teeny, he just got home. Pedo been home. A couple of partners over there, I know, you know what I'm saying? Teeny, me and him used to play chess all the time. Pedo, I raised him in the system, they like my little bro. Um, so they over there, and I remember I used to get Pedo in the back because he on the other side, I'm on one side, so. I used to get him to come in the back in the laundry room and let the CO that was cool. He let me go back. I cut his hair because he ain't, he ain't like the barber over there. So I was the one that cut his hair. So, man, I'm back there with with, 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 with Pito cutting his hair one day. And Pito tell him, man, they got an old cat over there, man. Man, they said, oh, he come over there. Tell him he running the stove box. And, man, he barking that dude. running my Man, he old as I don't know what, man. Talking like he a cold killer. I say, uh, wait, wait, he just got over there. He was like, yeah, he just got over there. They say, they say he was in the system for a long time, and he went home. He just got back. You know what I'm saying? I said, he just got, I said, how old? He said, man, that man, that man over 60, so he might be seven. I said, get out of here, man. I said, what's his name? He said, I don't know, I don't know. I said, find out his name. I said, I probably know him. I might have been been somewhere with him before. He was like, man, that man ain't the way, man. That man will make somebody kill him over there. He over there acting like he, like he a gangster. So I'm like, man, that was crazy. So he go back, I finish cutting his hair, he go back over there. So later on, when we go out, he called me and uh, he said, oh, 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 uh, yeah, the old, old time, oh, man, you asked me about, man, he said he was locked up long, so he just got back, man, he said his name Cooper Lee. <laughs> I said, Cooper Lee, he said, yeah, I said, I said, what he look like? So he tried to describe him to me, he said, oh, man, I said, but what he look? So I'm thinking in my mind, I don't, I don't know no other Cooper Lee. So showing up, I said, man, dude named Cooper Lee, man, I know him, man. I said, but Cooper Lee, I know he he is crazy. You know what I'm saying? So he was like, man, this dude old. I said, man, I'm telling you, man, if it's the same Cooper Lee, man, I'm telling you, man, he crazy. He probably talking like that because he was like that. I don't, he got to be older now because he was older than me when I knew him. So I said, he got to be older now, but I'm telling you, man, the man crazy, right? So, uh. He said, man, we go back in. I'm going to call him. I said, call him to the, to the gate, man. If I, I see him. I know him. He know me. So, sure enough, when we go back in, he go in there. I stay in the salad port. I'm waiting. He call him. Man. Hey, 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 old time. Old time. Uh, 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 cool, cool. Hey, somebody down here want Hollis. So, he coming down the jungle. He come on down. When he get to the door, when he walk to the door, I'm looking in. I can see his cool Lee. Even though he old, I know his cool Lee. So, he walk up there. I said, man, what's up, man? You remember me, man? He was like, uh, yeah, 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 you look for, look for me, you look real for me. I said, man, Angelo, man, remember Angelo, I'm banging, man, remember we was on, oh, yeah, 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 what's up, what's up, man, what, 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 what's happening, what's happening? So I dab him up in there, just, yeah, just as crazy, I get the same vibes back, you know what I'm saying, and he older, he moving, you know what I'm saying, but he moving around, he, he agile. So I'm like, man, I just said, man, what's up, man, I see you been home, he like, oh, yeah, 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 I went home, I went home, I went home, yeah, 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 yeah. I said, oh, okay, okay. He said, yeah, 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 I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Dude. How you been doing, man? How you been doing? I said, I'm, I've been all right, man. He said, you, you, you been home? I said, I ain't been nowhere, man. I still been up here. He said, God, God damn, man. How, about, man, man. How long you been? How long it been? So I said, tell him and everything. He was like, yeah, yeah, all right. What you next door? I said, yeah. He said, all right, all right, cool, man. All right, that was up. Dab me up and go on about his way. So I see Pito later. I tell you, I said, man, that, hey, that's Pito. That man crazy. <laughs> I said, he crazy. I said, you better tell your little, little old boy, little youngest, don't play with that dude, man. I'm telling you, he crazy. He said, oh, yeah, Pito. Pito said, he been over here barking. He barking now. He, he scream on dudes and this. He just got up in here. 
Tell me he gonna open the stove box and uh, dude better have his money. Don't 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 come get his stuff if you ain't got his money, cause he don't play that. And I mean, be looking at him like man, you don't set your little. Old. I said, you better tell him to take he. <laughs> you better tell him to take he. I said, man, the man crazy dog. And I, you know, gave him a little history on him and then he was like, Sean, I'm man, I'm trying to tell you dog. You know what I'm saying? So it was crazy, man, to see he done made it out on the street. With all his shenanigans and all the things he did in prison, he probably, you know, like I say, but this, you talking about this, this 70s, 80s or whatever it was that he came in. He, you know, he under the old law. These dudes going to make parole if they ain't got no life sentence, even if they got it, if they had a possibility of making parole. Obviously, he got to that point where he made it and he could, you know, went on on the street. Now, I'm like, man, Cooper Lee, oh, Cooper Lee, this is what I'm thinking in my mind. So about a month later, Another dude come on the compound to come in the block with us. It's a younger dude, right? He from where Cooper Lee from. He know Cooper Lee. He just got locked up himself. He tell people what Cooper Lee locked up for. And it blew my mind, man. I say, what? He said, man, I know this for sure. I'm telling you, man. Ooh, ooh. This is what he said. He said that. Cooper Lee came home, I be did about 30 some years, came home on the street trying to run the block, <laughs> trying to try to take money from the drug dealers, trying to be a drug dealer, trying to do all this stuff out on the street, sticking dudes up in there, like straight out of penitentiary. You know what I'm saying? He was like, man, dude, we're trying to kill him out there. Man, he out there doing this, doing that. Say he, his family disowned him. Ain't nobody want to deal with him no more. He couldn't stay with his family no more. So the next thing you know, you know, dudes blackballing him out there. He can't get no money on the block and everything. So now he out there like roaming around homeless and he dangerous because he might stick you up or do anything. So he said then they had this lady that was from the neighborhood. And she was known to be like a philanthropist, you know, she take meals out there to the homeless, help people, do stuff for people, anybody in need. She was one of them type of kind hearted persons and say she had helped Cooper Lee a couple of times and everything, as well as other people out there on the street. Man, they say Cooper Lee went to the lady house, knocked on her door, um, asked for something to eat or whatever, goes in, gets something to eat. Assault the lady, beat her, kill the lady, took her life, man, and sit right there and called the police and told the police what he did calmly and said he'll be there when they get there and gave him the address. And um, I guess they took that as, um, you know, it was unbelievable or they, they couldn't believe it. They say Cooper Lee stayed there for about. 45 minutes and ain't nobody come. He called him again. Told him what he did. Told him the lady is dead in there. He here. He did it. Come and get him. Police got there. Come. It's all true. She dead. He there. Lock him up. Said he wanted to go back to prison. He couldn't function out there on the street. In prison, he was known. He knew how to function. He know how prison is run. He know the politics. He know the players. He know the, the infrastructure. He know how to hustle here, how to hustle there. He know he can hustle where to lay his head at night. He know certain people. He know the prison system because he's been in there all his life. He couldn't function on the street. So he put a move like that at the expense of an innocent, kind-hearted person just to come back to prison. And man, I couldn't believe it, man. I'm sitting there listening to him, man. I said, man, what he said, yeah, man, that's what he did, man. I'm telling you, man, don't tell you, that's what he did, man. People hate him on the street, man. They know what he did because that lady was cool. She was nice with everybody. She was in the neighborhood for years. Woo and Cooper Lee did that, man. So it was just crazy, man. It made me just look at Cooper Lee different. And by this time, Cooper Lee done got a job in the kitchen, right? And he over there making ways with dudes in the kitchen. He beefing with dudes in the kitchen because he trying to steal. They trying to steal. He trying to bully them and bogart them and push them out the way when they been in there stealing before he got in there. But now he in there, he trying to bully. He trying to steal. He, he making sure he they got chicken on the staff side. He They trying to steal some. He trying to steal some. He trying to tell them to get out of the way. He got to the chicken first. And they they in the, their beef. He done pulled the knife out on two or three dudes in the kitchen. Young dudes ready to hit them up over some steak food. 
You know what I'm saying? He done started a stove box over there. He, I mean, he he back in the swing of the penitentiary. You know what I'm saying? Because he know penitentiary politics. He know penitentiary rules. And most of the dudes in the penitentiary now are young. They don't know what's going on. Cooper Lee know what's going on. And Cooper Lee is running, trying to run things. And they ain't going for it because he old. But they cautious because they done heard things about him. And they know he aggressive. Well, this old cat aggressive. You know what I'm saying? Or he pulling out the Bethlehem. They, so they don't know what to do. So they going by old people telling them that, man, dude ain't wrapped too tight, man. I'm telling you, man, he, and he, they know he ain't never getting out of prison no more. So they know he ain't got nothing to lose. He ain't scared of the whole because he done did more time than half of these dudes been alive. So he a force to be reckoned with even at his old age because, like I told y'all many, many times, nobody want to die. I don't care who he is. If you know death on the table, you're going to act like you got some sense. And they know Cooper Lee won't scare to really, you know, Take you on up out of here. And he old. He, he, you know what I'm saying? He don't care. He probably in his late 60s now. You know what I'm saying? If not early 70s. You know? And, um, man, it was crazy. But I just remember from the time that dude told me what he would lock back up for, every time I saw him, that's what I saw. I couldn't shake it out of my head. Like, man, penitentiary mess you up that bad, my dude. You know what I'm saying? That you would go out there and do something crazy like that. And that just... It just blew my mind, man. And I, I stayed around him for, um, you know, till I made parole. Cause, but he was next door. But every time I seen him, that's what was on my mind. You know, and he went to jail. He went to jail a couple of times before I left. He went to jail one time for they shook his head down and found the Bethlehem in there. Locked him up. He was gone for a minute. But when he came back, they put him in the same block. He ended up getting right back in the kitchen. Went right back to his regular routine. See what I'm saying? Right back to his regular routine. And then right before I left, he started getting sick. Um, he had some type of ailment going on with him where he, he had passed out a couple of times. Because you, you, know, you see the police rush over there and they come running in there with the medical people and all this. And then dudes was in up telling me, what happened over there, man? The police came over there, the nurses and all. Man, Cooper Lee was in the shower, man. He just passed out. You know what I'm saying? What? Yeah, so he whatever he whatever was going on with him, he had, he had started getting sick. Before I left, you know, and like I told y'all before, in prison, it's the worst thing that can happen to you, man, is to get sick, man. To get sick or to get old, because they don't care nothing about you in there. And, um, yeah, you 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 in a world of hurt when that happens, because you're not going to get nothing but, you know, and if you're going by alphabet, A, B, C, D, you're probably going to get X uh, 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 medical attention. <laughs> yeah, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, yeah, you're going to get X medical attention, not A, B, or C, X medical attention. So... The worst thing that happen if you if you get sick, man. And he was getting sick. He was already old. He already had a lot of enemies. He already did a lot of stuff in the penitentiary. So I can only imagine, man, what he going through now, what's going on with him. I don't know. I ain't heard nothing else about him. The dude just brought his name up and he just sparked this about Cooper Lee. And I felt like it was a story that y'all need to hear because, you know, this is the mentality of some dudes in prison. You know, they did a lot of time. They cannot get out of that. That's That's, you know, and they created a name for themselves in prison. They became somebody else in prison and out on the street, you know, which is everybody's ultimate goal, I would I would suspect, is to get out. They can't function. It's a different world. It's different players. It's different movement. It's different rules. They can't function. But in prison, they can function. Not only function, they can thrive. They can, you know, be somebody. He was respected in prison, but he was disrespected on the street. You know what I'm saying? He was a, he was a, a, a warrior in prison. He was a bum on the street. So those are the dynamics, man. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people can't function. And I know a couple of other dudes like that. You know what I'm saying? They cannot function on the street. But in prison, and they run prison, man, like it's a Fortune 500 company. But get on the street and just can't function. It's, I personally believe those skills are transferable. They, Dude can do that in prison and bring that out here and apply that to life and be successful. But it has to be something that's in you. And I just don't think a lot of dudes got it in them. And they get to the point where they just that comfortable in prison where that's where they know for a fact that they got success. And they can they can function and they can thrive. And um when you've been in there as long as Coop have, man, and other dudes, it's like they, 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 you know what I'm saying? They know what they can do in there and they get to a comfortability where as to they feel more comfortable, you know, in that environment. 
you know, than being out here when everything moving fast and going this way and that way and people ain't, you know, taking you serious or giving you a chance and they just, you know, and I think a lot of them before they crash out, crash out, they just purposely crash out so they won't have to, you know what I'm saying, feel like a failure. Like they know what they doing when they do it. They know what the end result is. They know where they're going back to and that's just what they choose to do. And it's just unfortunate that Coop choose the way he did to go back to where he was at. And um, yeah, man, but that was a, it's just, it just, it just gives you an insight of what the, you know, the, the mental goes through when you're in there, the transformation, the things that you have to process, the things that you have to deal with. And it affect people in different ways, man. It affect people in different ways. And obviously it affected him for the worst because it affected him to the point where he felt like he couldn't function in the free world. And that alone is just sad, period. Because that's where you come from. That's where you belong. That's where you're supposed to be. But his mind has got so where as to he feel otherwise, you know. And, um, yeah, this is the effects of doing time, man, on some people. That's why I tell people all the time, your mental warfare is going to is be as is, is, uh, deep as your physical warfare in prison. You're going to be fighting for your mental, you know, independence, man, to be able to think for yourself and not have all this stuff clog your brain up, man, and making you feel like, you know, you, you, you know, you, you you just can't can't deal with certain things. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna have to be able to process that stuff outside of your head, man. And a lot of people can't do that, man, because they have got to the point where this is what it is for them. This is all they see and they notice. And they don't wanna start over. They don't wanna, you know, learn new stuff. They don't wanna go through that whole process again about, you know, becoming established and getting to where you need to get in life. And in prison, they have got to the point where they respected, you know what I'm saying, and feared. And, and, and that is, you know, that's something to them, you know what I'm saying? That's something to them, you know. And uh, when you take that away, they feel like they ain't got nothing, you know. But that's Cooper Lee, man. So shout out to the dude who brought his name up, who made me remember the story about Cooper Lee, man. Y'all want to know some more about Cooper Angelo, man. Y'all let me know in the comments. Talk to me, man. I talk back. Um, share these videos. Please like these videos. It helps a lot. Making a comment helps a lot to grow this page, to grow this platform. And what helps even more if you subscribe. And if you go get somebody else to subscribe and let them go get somebody else and somebody else and somebody else. And next thing you know, man, we got this message spreading all over the world. TBP, man, we'll be rolling. We'll be out there, man. I'm out there. I need y'all out there with me. You know, I do this for y'all. I want to educate, man, and I want to uh, save some lives, man, and let these dudes out here know what you facing. You know, and anybody who heard us, if you're willing to face this, knowing what you're facing, you better than me. Yeah, you better than me. Because had I known this, <laughs> had I had any inclination, any little clue, yeah, man, I I, I would I, I got to believe I'd have moved different and did different, you know. So hopefully that's the effect they have on the young people who do hurt, who, who do still got a chance, who is still out here in freedom. Don't make this choice, man, and don't make this your life. You know, that's the message right there. So uh, y'all be safe, be smart, make good decisions, man. I see y'all about 24 hours in the meantime, in between time. Y'all stay safe out there. And by all means, my dude, duck them hooks. That's how that worked out and all tight and everything. Boom. Thank you special. Yeah, pure deliciousness. Pure deliciousness, man. <laughs> My name is uh, Banky, man. Everybody calls me Banky. That's the name that I got from my grandmother when I was young. I'm coming out here after 30 years. Yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm going to have something because I'm rich in personality. You know, and uh, I'm rich in love. My family loves me. And that really, that's, that's really the, all that counts.